I'm Masa Sakaguchi, a principal researcher at ASICS Institute of Sports Science. So we've been developing the yeah, many Metaspeed series, so, so far it's really good. So yeah, it's really working well for athletes. So we've been, uh, actually that's more than 640 uh, personal bests were recorded. But for this one, actually there, uh, so when we ask athletes, so how the, uh, the Metaspeed series were, then uh, they, most of them are, uh, yeah, uh, said to us that, so the, the previous version is, the slightly uh, too stiff for the marathon race. So we try to keep their position more like efficient or more like faster speed achievable. So yeah, then we changed a little bit for actually optimize their, uh, their, their touring. So the basic concept is totally same, but for this one, so we updated everything from the previous one. So yeah, basically the, our like philosophy for the Metaspeed series are totally the same. It hasn't been changed from the first version. But for this model, so we've been collecting the more than 300, 400 other uh, uh, marathon, uh, faster marathoners data. Then based on that data, so we've been changing a little bit about, about the, like the target of the, of the, uh, the athletes. So for the first version, so we first introduced the, uh, uh, the Metaspeed Sky for stride runners and for uh, Metaspeed H for cadence runners. The basic concept is the same, but they're based on the data, so we have slightly changed the, uh, the target positions. So for this one, so we've been uh, changed, especially for H, so we've, been, uh, we've changed a little bit for the tooling, like the thickness and for the uh, the amount of the forms and also the uh, the actually the thickness of the uh, the heel to toe drop is uh, exactly the same for Metaspeed Sky uh, Sky Paris and Metaspeed Edge Paris. So this is a very first time. So for the previous model, we changed it uh, the, for the heel to toe drop so between the sky and the edge. But for this time, the, that is uh, totally the same. Thickness is the same. The drop is the same. So, so actually for the Metaspeed Paris, um, actually we updated the four materials from the previous model. So we being like the soft, we have softened the form, and then also the uh, while keeping the the, the bounce uh, property for, for the Metaspeed Paris. So that might be the main reason why athlete feel the the new new Metaspeed Paris uh, Metaspeed Sky Paris is slightly softer than the previous model and for H. So the, because the H has the, a thicker amount of the foam uh, in the um, far foot area uh, compared to the Metaspeed Sky Paris. So that's why probably the athlete feel the edge is more like super, like the deformable in the, under the, uh, under the uh, far foot area. So this is the our earlier sample, uh, the prototype of the Metaspeed Sky. Metaspeed Sky is basically designed for the stride runners. So basically stride runners has their much, much higher pressure under the, foot, under the far foot area. So to stabilize their foot motion, uh, as well as uh, uh, to like their, uh, enhance their bounce feeling under the, under the far foot. So we uh, widen the gauge to the, the base net of, uh, only for the far foot. But for the uh, uh, cadence runners, basically the H. So, so th those runners are relatively lower pressure, lower foot pressure under the four foot area. So basically their motion is slightly more stable than uh, the uh, stride runners. So that is the reason why. So H has a slightly narrower the base net in the, under the four, uh, four foot area. So we changed the last from the previous model based on the athlete's foot shape data. So we've been collecting athlete's foot shape data at the, our like event and also the World Athletic Championships, Olympic Games. So we have uh, combined all the foot shape data collected from the athletes, then developed 
uh, the last, uh, last shape for like Metaspeed series. Probably more, more than 15 types, probably more than 15 types. Yeah, so basically, you know, so we have Sky and Edge. So each has many. <laughs> yeah, that, that's the reason why. So we have tons of, uh, lots of the uh, prototypes. But for, actually uh, for this meta, the, mm, for the early, during the earlier stage of the um, uh, meta speed parties. So that is not a success, not good progress. So we uh, developed the, this one. So this didn't have a uh, good reputation from the athletes. Then we decided to uh, extend the period of the development. Then we uh, going back to the, uh, uh, the like everything. We change the materials. We change the shape. So based on the athletes' data, so we are uh, now the as I said. So like target is slightly changed, especially for edge. So now then we decide to these two shapes. So one actually the, the last is the same. The drop is the same. The thickness is the same, but uh, the, actually the material is the same, but the shape is different. So that is our reason for now. As a shoe developer, shoe researcher, so most important thing is to keep uh, the athletes safe. And then also, the, uh, we, yeah, we hopefully, hopefully we can uh, enhance their performance as well. So the safety is fast then the enhanced performance. So both are important. Now sometimes those are uh, uh, like the trade-offs, you know, but so we are trying to combine everything to provide both. Yeah, that's uh, yeah, my answer. <laughs>